This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. What time is it? TBR time. We're on vacation. Is that from High School Musical? Am I singing High School Musical? Ugh. We have a problem, loves. No, oh, I found it. Don't, don't worry guys. I found it. Here she is. TBR game. Ooh, it's the best time of the month. I literally love doing the TBR game because I'm always so hopeful at the beginning of the month, you know, that I'll read these books and all of these things are gonna happen this month and then they just don't. Oh, let me move my crap. Having caffeine today was probably not the best idea. Does anybody else do this? Make sure that you're hot iron is not hot anymore like this is kind of unhinged that i just full on grip the barrel of a curling iron that i just used i have no regards for my life i guess so i could have treated you better that's crazy hello everybody have you guys seen a tbr game video before from me if not buckle up because they're always just a little bit unhinged i'll explain it here in a sec for those of you who haven't watched a tbr game video from me before every time i see the yellow prompts i think about how i was too lazy to draw a banana. Here is how the TBR game works. So I have two dice. We start at the start and whatever this number is, we count the spaces, we land on that one, and then we put that TBR prompt. That is the book that we choose that corresponds with the prompt. You guys will get it as you watch the video. And then if we land on one of the like wild cards, which there's like wild card, strawberry, banana, and blueberry, banana is bad. That is like a bad prompt. A bad prompt because bananas hurt my stomach. I can't eat bananas. Or it is very personalized to me. So the strawberry and blueberry are really good prompts, like prompts that I would like. Like I think one of them is like a go buy a book. But the wild cards are kind of like a, you know, like when you get a wild card, you know, could be good, could be bad. So that is how you play the game. Okay. That's, that's how you get the girl. Can you tell 1989 just came out? I can't stop quoting these songs. What am I doing? Oh, we're playing the TBR game. Okay. Popping in just to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. You guys know I literally talk about Squarespace all the time and it is because they are the best. If you guys are wanting to make a blog, online storefront, scheduling stuff for your business, Squarespace has it all for you. Squarespace is super user-friendly. You just log on to Squarespace, sign up for your free trial, and then you can browse all of the templates that they have to use from. You can choose your template, customize it any way you want. And from there, you're going to be able to launch your website. And the best thing about the website when you launch it, whether that is, a blog storefront or scheduling you're gonna be able to see all of squarespace's data and analytics to choose from they have a ton of them you can see your scheduling who's on your schedule or you can go and see the audience that is bringing to your website where they're coming from different tools to see like what's working for you and what's bringing in more people there's literally so much data that you can use on squarespace as well as for somebody like me who likes to connect their socials to everything it is very easy to connect all of your socials that way it's kind of like a blogging tool that way people can kind of form a sense of community on your website and you can also link your social so they can easily get to those. I have tried to do my little blog format of like my what's desk reading blog to kind of show like my favorite books and things like that. And on there, it's very easy for me to just link my socials and have you guys be able to go to my different socials that I have. So if you guys are interested, you guys can go to squarespace.com to sign up for your free trial. And when you guys are ready to launch, you guys can go to squarespace.com slash Jesse Siddle to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. We love ya. So last month I did 10. I think this month I'm going to do 10. 10 is just a pretty great number. Also last month I am aware and only became aware because of your guys' comments that I told you guys I can't do basic math. If I miscount, it's because I miscounted. <laughs> like I am an idiot. I can't do basic math. Just stick with me here. Here we go. Hopefully we get prompts. Honestly, I think this month if I get a prompt that I've already had before, <laughs> I might lose it. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a book with a person on the cover. But honestly, I feel like a lot of books put people on the cover. So this shall be very easy. Oh, okay. How much is that? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which we have pink cover. Literally, we also got the we also got this last month. Pink covered is, let's hope for a different outcome, okay? We have three, four, five, okay. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have a rom-com. I have plenty of those on my shelf. Cool, cool. That one's different. Oh no, this is a two over here. We have snake eyes. We have two, okay, ready? One, two. We have a dual POV book. I feel like you don't know going into it if it's dual POV or not. But I think we have the tools like Google to figure it out. Here we go. That was the fourth prompt. So we're almost halfway through. This is the fifth prompt. So then we'll be halfway through. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine which we have food on the cover. Okay, I don't know about that one. So we're halfway through. Don't know how I'm feeling about the, these prompts. Last month it was really good. I'm just kidding. Anyway, don't know how I'm feeling. I wish we could get one of these cards. That would make it fun. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. One, two, wait, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have a thriller. I kind of don't like thrillers as we get into the winter months. Prompt number seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Guys, this is really showing through how I'm really not good at math. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have read a book of the month book. Okay, so I have like an expansive book of the month collection and I really want to like get through some of those. So we have read a book of the month book. That one, that one felt different. That one felt different and I like it. Let's get some more of these in here. So we have about three more prompts to do. This is number eight, five, okay. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? This is the start. Either go here, go forward or go backward. I'm gonna stick on the wild card because this is my video and my rules. Okay, so we're gonna go to the wild card one since the last one would have been on start. So let's draw a wild card and I'm gonna show the camera first. I'm just, okay, I'm just looking. Guys, I didn't see what it says. I'm just showing you guys first. Okay. Read a sad book. The fact that I don't know if I can do this. That one's really hard. Okay. We have two more prompts. At least we got a card this time. You know what? I'm happy about that. What can you say? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have a new release, and we actually have quite a bit of those this month, so that is exciting. Okay. Last prompt. Let's make it count, everybody. Six, seven, eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have a memoir. Oh, the fact that I know which one I'm going to pick, and it's so sad. So we've got the 10 prompts that we are going to choose from. Let's do a roundup of what all of the prompts were. So number one, we have book with a person on the cover, two, pink cover, three, a rom-com, four, dual POV, five, food on the cover, six, a thriller, seven, read a book of the month book, eight, read a sad book, nine, a new release, and 10, a memoir. So that is what we have going on. That is the 10 we have to choose from. So now it's onto the bookshelves to see what books we're gonna pick from this month. I literally have no clue. There's no thoughts in this brain. If you went, it would just be empty right now. Onto the bookshelf. Let's get started on picking out the books for this video. So number one, we have a book with a person on the cover. I feel like there's a lot of these. Ooh, you know what a fun one is? And that is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. That way we can get to our first Brandon Sanderson book of the year. And guess what? What's that? That's a person on the cover, is it not? Is it not? It is. Okay, next up we have a pink cover. And I'm actually looking directly at a cover that's a pink cover. Are you guys gonna argue with me on this though? I'm looking at Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco. And I'm saying this is pink, but I feel like you guys are gonna say it's purple. But to me, it looks like a pinkish purple. Are you guys gonna say this is purple? Okay, we also have See You Yesterday by Rachel Lynn Solomon. But the thing is, is this is like a groundhog day type of trope where she like lives the same day over and over and over again this could be fun though this could be like a little palette cleanser and i know that you guys won't argue with me that this is a pink cover so we'll do see you yesterday okay next up we have a rom-com a rom-com crazy stupid bromance this is like 
these books are just like so cute mm, i think i'm gonna choose this one for a rom-com like this is like a cute like i feel like the this series is like the definition of a rom-com so we're gonna do crazy stupid romance and finally pick back up the bromance book club since like 2021 <laughs> next up we have a book with a dual pov i think like you can honestly like flip through a book and see if a book is dual pov and i feel like pretty much all of my fantasy books are mostly dual pov like for example i think throne of the fallen is a dual pov why do i want to read this book so bad i don't know <laughs> why is there so okay one maybe it's not dual pov let's look it up throne of the fallen is dual perspective okay that's an option why am i not fully convinced yet i don't know because i feel like we also have the stars are dying which i think is also dual pov is it dual pov oh is it not is this not oh it isn't i don't think it is dual pov ah no, this isn't dual POV. Ah, we won't spend too much time on it. We will just do Bound of the Fallen. Now, this one's getting hard. This is food on the cover. And like, I can't think of off the top of my head something that has food on the cover. So this is gonna be hard. Oh, come on guys, what's going on? I mean, literally this has to be possible. This has to be possible that I have something with food on the cover. Hmm. This is crazy. Aha, uh -huh. I have found one. You guys hear me? This is the walk of a dedication because I found one. This is the American Roommate Experiment. That's a slice of pizza on the cover. That was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. We're halfway through, let's find a thriller. I actually just bought this one. This is how we end things. And I think this is a thriller. Yeah, it says a high stakes dark academia thrill. Dark academia. I'm literally getting flashbacks. But anyway, it's like about people who like go back to their college or something and they get locked in and their secrets start unraveling. Read a book of the month book. Okay, let's look to my book of the month shelf that I have. We have... <laughs> that literally was like something like shutting down like when I looked over. Because there are some really good book of the month books that I have. I'm looking at a few options. I wish that this was like real time and you guys could tell me what you think. So we have a few. So first of all, we have romantic comedy. Then we have killers of a certain age. Um, and then we have Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. And I did just read Ninth House. And I have heard that this just jumps right into it from where Ninth House left off. And that if I spend a long time after reading Ninth House, I think I'm going to do Hellbent just because I just read Ninth House. Next, we have read a sad book. Why does this make me so terrified? Books that I know are sad. Do, do, do. Okay. The way I want this book as far away from me as possible because I have heard that it is so extremely sad. But you know what? We'll do it. That one's gonna be a hard one. Next up, we have a new release. We actually have a few new releases to choose from this month. So first of all, we have Check and Make. We have Betting on You by Lynn Painter. We have Iron Flame. And we have Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. All coming out this month. I'm pretty sure three of those books come out on the same day, on November 7th. I think I'm going to put Iron Flame. Because I know for sure that I'm going to get to that book. I'm definitely going to get to all of those books. Last, but certainly not least, we have a memoir. And 100% I am going to read Matthew Perry memoir. I have always really wanted to read his memoir but especially now I really want to read it so I think I honestly might listen to that on the audiobook because if I'm not mistaken he narrates it and I would just really like to hear his story from his words so I'm definitely going to listen to that this month and if you guys know like I love Friends my 13th birthday cake was literally like Friends I watch Friends all the time it's a comfort show for me I've loved that show forever so I'm definitely going to read his memoir Okay, so we have our TBR of 10 books. This is our little TBR. I have a video coming out where I di basically did like a big reading vlog where I try to finish my TBR that I set in one week. And when that comes out, if you guys like that or even like like the idea of that, let me know because I think it's fun to do like a TBR and then do a reading vlog of me trying to read all of the books. Hopefully this month it won't be me trying to like cram it into the last month of the year of the year into the last week of the month more like just reading them throughout the month so if you guys want another video like that let me know to go back through we have you rich sam hellbent this is how we end things the american roommate experiment throne of the fallen crazy stupid bromance see you yesterday and miss born that is the tbr that we have set for this month hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did you guys know to like comment subscribe all the youtube stuff that you guys know how to do thank you so much for watching yet again another monthly tbr from me i love you guys and i will see you guys when i see you peace